in this video I'm going to show you how to add the link to course materials for first day instant access through Barnes & Noble. So what you're going to do first is go into the course. So I'm going to go to my waffle to look at my course selections and I'm going to click on the course that I would like to add this link to. All right, and you have a couple of choices. You can either add the link to an area in your course you already have or you can create a new module um, to contain the course material. So in the first part, I'm going to show you how to create the new module. So I'm going to go to edit content. So I'm sorry, I'm going to click on content. I'm going to go down to the bottom and add a module. And I'm going to add a module called course materials. Okay. And inside this module, you're going to go into um, existing activities and you're going to go into external learning tools and you're going to select Barnes & Noble's first day NIA okay and there's the link now if you want to you can go in and edit the topic properties and then if you click on first day um, or the title at the top it will automatically let you edit it so if you want to call this course materials um, first day instant access whatever you want to call it you can name it okay so now when students go into your course home page they're gonna see a module for course materials and you can move it up locate it wherever you want in your course and when you go into course materials they're gonna see the link for course materials first day and when they click on it they'll be able to either opt out of um, the book if they already have it or they should be if you're using an ebook and that's the only resource you're using it would be um, give them a link to the ebook okay now if you want to add this link to another area within the course that you already have built just go into the module where you want it and you follow the same steps you go into existing activities go to external learning tools click on the Barnes & Noble and it automatically added it to the bottom you can move it up wherever you want it okay and you can rename this just like you renamed the other one okay so if I edit the properties I can go in and edit this and change the text okay